Polycom announced. I know fans get a little touchy when the cams are on. Did it not piss you off at all? Uh, no, you it was a good set of lads. Yes, it was a good set of lads, so. Have you found comfort in being uncomfortable? I like that line you used. How's training camp been? Yeah, I mean, like like I said in in the, in the documentary that it's, the, it's been the most horrible training camp yet, but it has to be to get the best out of me. You know, I, I push myself, I give it everything possibly I can give it. Uh, Frank, I'll ask you, I know fighters, we think we're, 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 we're 10 men, we don't care. When you got the, 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 the call came through to say Luke was fighting Lomachenko uh, uh, for the world title, what was your first thoughts? What was the thoughts in the office? Everyone thought it was brilliant. You know, Luke has been, I think people forget like the career he's had to like Britain's most decorated ever amateur. Everyone looks at what Lomachenko's done, but Luke has had that. On Saturday night, he defeats pound for pound number one fighter in the world. He takes that spot. So everyone's very excited for him and we truly believe he can do it. What about you, Luke? Did you, did you, when you heard that, when you thought, really? Did you cherish the, the opportunity of getting him with the best? I always have done. I've always, I always have done from, you know, from being an amateur and going to these tournaments and speaking to the team and hearing some of the other boxers saying, oh, I hope I don't draw, draw so and so fast and I oh, just, I want an easy touch of fast fight and then move on and get better. But I've always said, listen, if, if to win this tournament, you got to, you got to beat whoever's in front of you. You know, you got to beat the best to be the best and the same rules still apply. Different in careers uh, as a professional, you seem to have learnt on the job, matured on the job, in front of the you know you, you, the opportunity for people, people to, to to praise or criticise on the job. And Lamchenko seems to have, uh, yeah. roll through easily once he, he, he had his, his one loss. Yeah. Do you prefer your path or his path? Well, my path has got me to where I am today. Um, you know. I feel like I've only just settled in the professional um, game. You know, I've only just found the right team to have around me, and you know, I, w I was very unsettled, and, and I was really doing a lot of it on my own for the first three and a half, four years of my professional career. So I've not got off to the best of starts, but now I feel like I've got a solid team around me. I'm happy. At every box is ticked, and. You know, now I feel like now finally I can go from strength to strength. Well, you've got to give where credit, uh, credit where credit's due. You, 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 you took yourself off to, to America, away from, from work at the IS with the rest of the, the squad, uh, the 2000 yeah. Soul squad. Uh, to me, that showed commitment because not many fighters are willing to, to show such commitment uh, to their career. Um, so I suppose that that's, that, that showed, because going into this, you, you've showed like a, no nerves. Very yeah. cool, even doing this fight week, five nights to go to a fight. Uh, even doing this, you seem very relaxed and very matter of fact about it all. Yeah, I mean, like I said, like I said um, in, in the documentary there, when I said, listen, I'm not fighting tonight. So I don't need to be nervous or, or, or anything like that, or waste adrenaline. You know, I'll switch them buttons on when I need to, but you know, I'm not fighting tonight, I'm not fighting tomorrow. So I'm, I'm relaxed, but you know, I'm. Just, I still, I'm still focused on Saturday, and I, st I know I've got a big job to do Saturday night. Does this give you the same buzz you had going into to the Olympics? The same, the, the same hullabaloo coming at that same week, fight week, you know, 2012. Uh, does it give you that same buzz, that same feeling? Yeah, most definitely. You know, if you're fighting someone like Lemachenko, who's ranked number one pound for pound, if that don't give you the extra nerves and the extra focus then I don't know what will. So I've certainly been switched on focused from the second I've heard this fight's happening. Tell me about Lomachenko. Give me something good and something bad about him. Um I don't like his voice. <laughs> 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 Who agrees with me on that? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I guess that's somewhat bad. Somewhat good is is a phenomenal fighter. Frank, of course, you know, you talk about it. Uh, every talks about him in boxing, pound for pound best. <coughs> what you guys, if you've, you've, you've promoted more with him big, uh, to say it's a, a chance to see such an outstanding fight. Uh, what are the what are the thoughts in the office on the Yeah, I think everyone everyone knows there's no secret. He is literally 
the best fighter out there. We've been lucky enough to bring over some of the, you know, Usyk, for example, fought Tony Bellew, uh, Gennady Golovkin when he fought Kell Brook. Um, so, you know, we know how good Lomachenko is. Luke knows how good Lomachenko is. But I think this will be something different for him as well. Coming to the UK, 20,000 people all against him. Luke, for his whole career, has had, even from his debut, has had the pressure of fighting outdoors in front of uh, 12, 13,000 people. Then he fought Tommy Coyle again outdoors. He fought at Wembley Stadium headlined in LA so he's been all over the place and there's there's no real pressure I mean I'm sure there's pressure but you have faced all of that as you've been through he's had these huge fight weeks he's had these huge events so that side of it for Luke isn't gonna phase him and he's from a boxing perspective he's been in there against the best the amateurs like you spoke about it, the, those guys week in week out are fighting the best fighters I don't think you don't always see it in the pros but in the amateurs it's week in week out right who am I fighting this week and that's where you probably had a similar career as coming through that amateur ranks, but yeah, Lomachenko, you can't, you can't really question anything he does. He's the best out there. But Luke Campbell on Saturday night, he believes he can go in there and do the job. And he's, as you said before, he's got a great team. You know, Shane McGuigan now. He spent a good, good amount of time with Shane now to learn from him. And you know, he's had, he's had a few changes throughout his career, but now I think he's settled. And he's probably the calmest I've ever seen him. You know, I've worked with him since 2012 when he came out of the yeah, Olympics. Yeah. And, you know, he's so chilled, he's seen it all, he's done it all, and I think he's probably at the happiest point where, since I've known him of going in there, and he's got a job to do. He knows how hard it's going to be, but I really believe he'll do it. Final question from me before I ask a couple out of the crowd. Um, what are we to expect Saturday night? I think there's a, there's a lot that can be expected Saturday night. Um, I don't believe that one thing will work. Um, Will work just to win this fight. I believe that you're going to see a, you're going to see a bit of everything. You're going to see a bit of the chess game, you know, a bit of patience, and you're also going to see a bit, a bit of um, rough and toughness going on in there. A bit of pushing, pushing him back, bringing him onto shots. I think you're going to see a little bit of everything in this fight. I'll take a couple of questions from the crowd. If anybody's got one, you want to put your hand up. Anybody? Easy money. Okay. Look. You, uh, you have a question, didn't you? I just didn't know did it. Huh? We should you have signed your brother, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, if he oh wouldn't God. have been smoking the cigarette with a Budweiser <laughs> in hand, then I would have been cruising away. Cruising away, cruising away. How old is your brother? How old is your brother? He's a uh, he's a year younger than me. Is he? Yeah, believe it or not. Yeah, what a nice. You seem to have gone down very similar career paths. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so it's, it could have done it. It's just now the dedication. Yeah, I better than Luke. I was better than Luke. Yeah, I remember that. But he had opposite style to me because we used to spy as kids when we first went in the gym. And obviously I'm the counter puncher, sit back guy, and he was the one that was the aggressor, come forward, throw loads of shots, rolling, putting the pressure on, so we had completely opposite spars, but usually 99% of our spars will always be one of us that have been crying. As the <laughs> really? yeah. As the dynamics change now, you've, you've achieved what you've achieved, you've, you've, you, you put home on the map. After that, when I go home, my mum say, Johnny, go to the shop and get some biscuits. I'm like, mum, I'm 52 years old, what are you doing? Like, so she yeah. still treats me like her son, yeah. like a little kid that she's no idea. Is it the same with you when you're at home, around your mum and the family? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> like as one of my friends was saying there, I'm, I've not changed whatsoever. I, I, I wouldn't like to think I've changed. I mean, everybody changed with, with time, with, you know, with wisdom and learning things and, and whatever else. But me, my morals is, is just still the same. You know, I still treat people, I don't see myself as better as anybody, any other body else on, on the street, you know, just because I do what I do and I'm successful at what I do, I never see myself better than anyone. Good luck Saturday night. Thank Have you.